Hello friends, and welcome back to Polya. I've actually been enjoying this game so far. See, I got my cool new hat. Oh, looks like the server's starting to pick up. Hey, Boopy. Tired. Long day of work. Alright, if I remember correctly, do these things need watering? Probably. Uh, buttons. What were you? This. Maybe. Water my plants. Alright, those are all watered and good. How long does it take to get these for these to fully grow, I wonder? Last I remember, I just got the sawmill and the smithing thing going. Got some boards. Got my cool new hat. Drop some stuff off. I was gonna take that back over that one place. Okay, so it looks like I do actually have a limit. Is it per item or per... Oh, so it's... Okay, so it's not just per item, it's per how many items of item. Let's see if I can remember where anything is. This is... Aha! I did get it right. This thing right here. Alright. Oh god, it's 5,000 next? Do I get reimbursed for that quest too? The heck was that? Alright. Okay, so try the battery on the door behind the waterfall. Let's do that. Where is that waterfall again? Yeah, I haven't gotten into any of the big money making yet so far. It's just my biggest money maker is fishing certain spots. If there's any out here right now, doesn't look like it. Or catching rare bugs, but I need mud, and I still haven't figured out how to get mud to make the little smoke bombs to catch the bugs. Oh, I scared everything off. You've hunted ten creatures, yay! Alright. Don't see a marker anywhere to where this waterfall would be. I think she said from where I met her... I don't even remember where that is. Oh, here's Phoenix Falls up here. Maybe it's somewhere up this area. So where am I right now? I'm over here. Let's head north. Ooh, fishing spot. Get a fish first. Yeesh. This is good easy money. Spotted bullhead. Yeah, I've caught tin fish. Any other spots? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's head over there now. I'm gonna get sidetracked all the time because there's just so much to do in here. I just don't need to get some more wood, so I might as well hit a few trees on the way. Okay. I do want to figure out how to upgrade my tools soon. Forget to grab my stuff again.
I think I see a spot over there. I do see a spot. I see two spots over there. Ooh. Going for both of those. Go for this one first. I was say, where's the tug? I got you. Aha. Striped dace. Whatever that is. Fishing is now level three. Go grab the other one. Oh yeah, can I? Need anything? Okay, so requires forging level three. Okay, so I level up to get the recipes to craft. Okay, so that gives me an idea of what I need to do. So I do need to actually do a lot of gathering and stuff, which I'm totally fine with. I'm going to need it anyways. Grab this fish here, and then I'm going to keep heading up to the uh, waterfall. So far, fishing is not too bad. I do hope it actually gets a little more difficult. Okay. Got those. Let's keep going this way. Alright, let's climb up top and see if we can find this uh, door. a lot of caves and stuff. Kind of cool. <laughs> we got buckets collecting the water. Uh, oh, but well, this is probably the door they're talking about. Broken door. Let's see what happens. Oh, well that was easy. Okay. It's kind of hoping for a cool, like, that scene. Whoa. So this is what my people left behind. Doesn't look like there's... Ooh, there's a chest over there, actually. Is there one over here, too, behind that waterfall? Does not look like it. I'm gonna check anyways. Be secretly hiding in these rocks. Nope, okay. Let's go get that other chest and see what's in there. Secret chest behind a waterfall. Ooh, and I get a a treasure chest too. I think I get to put that in my uh, house of display. On display. Alright, so what do we got in here? Inspect. A bowl with rust on the bottom. Inscription has been worn away by time. That's unfortunate. What about this door? That's... The strange writing says, Knowledge grows the mind even in times of strife. To enter here, you must supply that with which grows life. That which grows life. What? Water? Wait. Ah, ha 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 ha. Caveman smart. Oh, hi guys. Where'd you come from? I thought you said you wanted me to explore this first. Oh, wait, it's my place. Hi. <laughs> you actually did it. I heard the rumbling and came running. This place is amazing. You must have been some kind of temple. Can you actually read the carvings on the walls? This is ancient human writing. Actually, no, that makes perfect sense. You're a human. Of course you can read your own language. You scout ahead. You scout ahead, Hecla. And I will survey this room to see what I what bleh, to see what we can learn. 
I'm not totally sure what the ruins around the village used to be, but based on the fact that the buildings cluster around a central square, a plethora of old books I found in the subterranean structures, and the fact that there is a space in the meadows where there are no ruins that kind of looks like a sports field, I would guess some kind of school. Although it's possible human civilization wasn't organized in some in the same way ours is, so I might be totally off base. Big. Well, that it's a phoenix room. Oh, she still has another quest. I had to talk to her about the phoenix thing. Oh, there you are. Good. I was starting to think I dreamt the whole thing. So yesterday, Ekla and I were examining the runes more, trying to find out what's going on. Why the humans are suddenly back. And I found a piece of statue that looked like it fell off of the phoenix, so, well, I returned it. Which is when it started glowing, just like when you dropped out of the sky. It stands to reason these two events are connected. I'd like to test my hypothesis, which means I need you to go try and check out the shrine. But er, only if it's in convenience. Only if it's convenient. Yeah, I'll go do that later. Alright, so what do I do in here? Oh, there's stuff for the back. Is there anything to talk with up this? Oh, wait, wait. Inspect. The inscription of the base says, Dear Phoenix, protect this place and its people. Let your waves wash away our... blank. Final word is too faded to read. Whoa. That's a big room. Headless statue. This chamber was added for your protection. Do not give up on your faith. The king shall free us when it's safe. Our people ro will roam the land again. I can't tell if that's fast rushing water or like... Yeah, it's gotta be fast rushing water. Luckily for us, we can't swim. So there's literally no reason for me to jump down there. But I'm going to do it anyways. Chiratabunga! Whee! Oh, well that didn't go anywhere. I imagine this is probably going to lead to that spot. Do I have to bring the statue its head back? So I guess I'm going to find a head somewhere. That's an everyday thing that occurs, you know? Hey Gina, I found a headless statue. What do you make of it? So much to learn. I hope I didn't freak you out too much when I clammed up. I just never witnessed an actual human reemergence before, and this whole thing is just a lot. You know what I mean? Why'd you clam up? I thought someone with more experience in the human reemergence field would be better able to help you. It was only after I left that I realized I am the foremost expert on human reemergence at this site. So, yeah, I kind of bungled that one. You're an archaeologist? I wish. Right now, I'm just an apprentice. I'm doing my thesis on human reemergence with the hopes of becoming a full scholar. So, if you see any interesting artifacts that you need examining, go ahead and send them my way. It might be the key to me becoming a full scholar. Or, you know, the key to you discovering the mystery of what happened to your people. The second part is obviously a lot more important. Forget I said the first thing first. Found something up ahead. What is it? Huge cliff. Some big ruins. I mean, yes. I'm gonna say I noticed the ruins first. A ruin? Intriguing. Perhaps this was a temple. I wouldn't try navigating that area without a glider. Oh, that's right! Gliders! Oh, that's gonna be how I get over there. That makes sense. You'll need to speak with Nam Naju Najuma about building your one. Building you one. Ancient battery quest complete. Ground Bahari Bay. So I am definitely looking forward to getting this glider, because that's going to be fun. I never did figure out if I need to actually, like, sleep through the night, or if I'm just stuck not interacting with anyone during this time, or during that time. Oh, I did not see you there. You seem to be outgrowing your current tool, as a pub pubescent caterpillar might outgrow its cocoon. 
like to inform you that I have new recipes available that better match your current development phase. Yay, I can buy another rod. I literally have just enough to buy a better rod. Significantly increased fishing rod health when equipped. Why does my fishing rod need more health? Well, let's go ahead and buy us a new uh, fishing rod recipe. And then let's sell him some oh, unopened oyster. When did I get that? Oh, I bet that was inside the chest. Oh, he doesn't buy that? That's weird. All right, let's sell him a uh, fish. Sell him another fish. And then I should have enough to buy this. Garlic and that. He doesn't want that. When your new tool is built, you will emerge from your crafting cocoon as beautiful fishing butterfly. The conversation has now ended. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't see any special spots, so let's head back. For now, dump that. I need to craft more arrows. Oh, okay, I can... Okay, make some more arrows. There we go. I want to craft. What do I need for the standard rod? Yep, I thought so. And I can't... What is this? Send nuke hide? A strong hide from Wild Snook. Do I not have any hide? What kind of hide do I have? Choppa. So what's a send nuke? I thought that was the uh, little thingies that was running around. Alright, what do we got in the mail? Zeki. Looks like you got yourself a handy dandy Zeki expanded backpack. How's the extra storage space treating you? No more trips back home every half sun cycle, right? Anyways, I'll just say thanks for being a loyal customer. Oh, so when he refurbished me. Oh well. Alright. Talk with Najima and uh, Bahari Bay, that's what it was called. I think that's gonna be this spot over here. I'm gonna head that way. So this goes to somewhere. I need to focus commute with a shrine. Shrine? Where's a shrine at? Whoa. Oh, holy crap. Holy crap, it's a whole new massive area. Oh, I thought that one spot was the only thing. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's awesome. This is actually a lot more to the game than I thought. I mean, I expected it to be, like, a lot, or at least decent. I didn't expect it to be, like... Well, I guess I shouldn't have expected everything to be shoved into that one little spot. Each you can get some more stuff back. Props. I can't take them, of course. Yeah, this is cool. So this is probably where I want to get to, like, seeing more stuff. I wonder if that means there's other areas, or is it just these two right now? Hassan's over there asleep. I am happy to learn of this. What are you doing? Oh, um, hi. I'm Najima. I work with my dad in the mines, or at least I used to before he said I was too dangerous. Not that I meant to complain to a complete stranger, so sorry. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. But wait, I just said that. Forget I said anything. Oh, I can help you with that. I've been troubleshooting my glider tech right lately. I need a bunch of test sub... Um... Volunteers to help me with the uh, aerodynamics and stuff. I do it myself. My dad's been really overprotective lately. He won't let me near. He won't let me in the mines. He won't let me jump off cliffs. Ugh. If you're interested, I can make one for you too. Just bring me the supplies. Come back later, if you want. 
Okay, so I need two, three sapling planks, two fabric, and five leather. So I need to learn how to make leather and fabric. Fantastic. Oh, there's one. Okay. That, that's, that's about what I thought. Oh, there's a chest over there. Okay, cool. So I'm going to have to check that out when I get my glider. Okay, so that's the first time I've actually seen a glider. <laughs> Perfect timing. Oh, this must be the smithy. Fair tools. Do tools have durability? Oh yeah, let me see what this quest is. Hello. It's good to see you embracing foraging, my son. Oh, foraging. My son and I used to do it together all the time. I think you're ready for this new recipe I've got in stock. Oh. <coughs> So the thing I'm already aware of. Okay. If you got any questions, you know you can always come to me. Be safe out there. Alright, so I gotta figure out how to make some monies. My garden is gonna take its time. Hi there. Uh right now my main thing is fish. Fancy fish. The guy did buy those uh, rock ores fairly cheap. I should probably go mining some more. Oops, I did that way too soon. At least I didn't mess the spot up. Here, fishy, fishy. There we go. What's this over here? Can I get this? Oh wow. Is this like a solid hunk of copper? Oh, oh, it's clay! Heck yeah! Now I can make more bug thingies. Yes, now I can catch more bugs. I've been sad I couldn't catch many bugs. Ooh, fish spot. Eesh. I like my new hat. Alright. Eesh. Gilly fin fish. Alright, so first let's go ahead and throw these fish over here. Let's get some stuff cooking. Let's grill a fish. I don't have two fish. Grilled mushroom. Grilled oyster. I did have three unopened oyster. Where'd they go? Or do I have to open them? Oh, perfect. The stuff already sold. Either I just got mail or some bell in the sky went off. Hassan, you may not have seen me as I stalk my prey in the forest, but I've seen you, brandishing your makeshift bow with abandoned scarring. With abandoned. Scaring every beast in sight. If you must share my hunting ground, I would like to teach you to do so more effic effectively. Please come see me at once and improve your pitiful arrow. <laughs> uh, he says I suck. You just keep get oh, <laughs> you just keep getting better and better with that axe of yours. Stop by later and I'll teach you how to build an even better one. Uh, I think I've already talked to you. So you have continued your pursuit in fishing. This is excellent news. I will have a new rod recipe available for you the next time you exit exist within my vicinity. I feel like I've used that line before. Alright, grab some grilled meat. Go and get some more going. Eat up. Get some more focus. Don't think there's anything I wanted to craft. Oh, this thing. That's right. Yes, it is. set 
44. Now for arrows. Craft some more of them. He is about to probably give me a recipe, but I'm pretty sure it's going to take the copper bars, which I still have yet to be able to use. Ungrill some more meat. Because I'm probably going to need more than what I got here. Eight seconds. Are they ready? They're ready! Yay! With that, I am going to end this episode here, folks. I grew my first crops, found the clay for more bug bombs, and began the first steps to unlocking the mysteries to our past. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to like the video. If you want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe. You can also join my Discord for updates on videos and streams when I go live, as well as other fun stuff. Till the next one, hope you all have a great day.